Ukrainian soldiers look through the debris of battle in their capital city, Kyiv. Many thought once the invasion began, the military of Ukraine would be swept away. Kyiv would fall and Ukraine would quickly submit to the will of Moscow. But that hasn't happened. In fact, in some key areas, the Ukrainian military appears, at this stage at least, to be outperforming the Russian military. That seems especially true when it comes to resupplying troops with fuel, ammunition and other supplies. The improvement looks to have happened because of failures in these very areas when Russian forces annexed Crimea. In 2014, they really were terrible. Most of the structures that they had simply did not have sufficient people in the structure to actually to do fighting and logistics. Um, so they've obviously, you know, there's been a development since then and people have understood things and there's been a better organisation of logistics across the whole force. And this time they actually seem to be pretty much getting it right. While the Russian forces appear not to be. Many onlookers feel the Kremlin has miscalculated, believing the initial military action will be enough to stun Ukraine into submission. And now that hasn't happened, the supply chain issues are shining through. So they're driving across across the border into, into war, uh, stoked up for, for 24, 48 hours no more, and, and not being able to drive very far, which is one of the reasons why, if you actually look at down south when they came out of Crimea, they've actually only gone sort of like 50 kilometres left and right. And, you know, and I, I'm sitting there thinking, why is this? Why is this? Well, I know now <laughs> they haven't got enough fuel to go any further because um, they were stopping and asking people in villages, please, where can I get fuel? I mean, which is bizarre. All he's doing is making use to a bigger target. Forces news pictures from eastern Ukraine in 2018, Operation Orbital in action. This was the UK's military training mission, brought in after the annexation of Crimea to try and modernise the Ukrainian military's thinking, which was still very much in a Soviet mindset, with a heavy emphasis on top-down leadership, no form of officer-staff college training even, and I'm told a seeming inability or unwillingness to learn from past mistakes. The British training's been praised for helping Ukraine's military improve operationally. I mean, the army has done extremely well. Um, it has modernised to a degree. There's a lot more it could do, a lot more it could have done. It, tactically, it's improved itself because the, the training from the Americans, Brits, Poles, Lithuanians. So at the tactical level, a lot of boys have got, uh, and girls have got much, much better. And that improvement shines through on the ground in this current crisis. But although they may have prevented a Russian early walkover and caused the Russian military a number of logistical headaches in the process, any future operational triumph is far from assured, given the mighty foe they face. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.